Some people experience dizziness that seems to be related to problems in the neck. This is referred to as cervicogenic dizziness, CD. The term cervicogenic dizziness is currently used in practice to describe symptoms of dizziness that arise from the cervical spine. It is referred to as cervical vertigo, proprioceptive vertigo, cervicogenic vertigo, and cervical dizziness. Symptoms Symptoms of dizziness arise from the cervical spine. Patients may feel dizzy, lightheaded, and nauseous when moving or at rest. Symptoms may last for minutes or hours. Some patients feel off-balance and unsteady, though it is not uncommon for patients with CD to have trouble describing their symptoms. CD is often accompanied by neck pain, limited motion, and neck stiffness. Some people with CD may have headaches, nausea, sweating, tinnitus and earfulness, general weakness, swallowing trouble, temporomandibular joint, TMJ, problems, and pinched nerves affecting the upper extremity. Visual disturbances have also been reported with CD, though these occur less frequently. Sometimes psychological symptoms can occur, such as anxiety or concentrating difficulties. What causes cervicogenic dizziness? Cervical dizziness can be caused by degeneration of the body, inflammation, joint issues, lesions in the discs, abnormally high muscle tone, Trauma to the muscles. People who've had extreme head trauma, cervical arthritis, or herniated cervical discs are more commonly affected by cervical vertigo. Cervicogenic dizziness can often result from a whiplash injury in car accidents. What is the treatment for cervicogenic dizziness? Because there is no definite test to diagnose CD, a physical therapist will work closely with your medical doctor to make sure there are no other problems, like the inner ear or brain disorders, that could be causing your dizziness. Physical therapists that are specially trained to treat CD will address the unique signs and symptoms of each patient's dizziness. There is evidence to suggest that treatment of the neck problem can decrease the symptoms of dizziness, which may include vertigo, lightheadedness, nausea, and can also improve imbalance. Physical therapies usually address the musculoskeletal problems of the neck, as well as any other problems that may be contributing to dizziness and imbalance. A type of physical therapy, called vestibular rehabilitation, can also be beneficial in addressing some of the related dizzy symptoms. There has been a success in the treatment of CD when physical therapy, to address the musculoskeletal problems of the neck, is combined with vestibular rehabilitation to treat any other problems that may be contributing to dizziness and balance. What kind of physical therapist do I need? Vestibular therapists are prepared through education and experience to treat a variety of conditions or injuries. At Therapy Consultants, we use the following state-of-the-art technology to help patients recover. Laser Tracker the Tracker Laser is a new device that allows providers to assist patients with strength and proprioception following a variety of sports-related injuries and concussions. Tracker was established to provide a better solution to cervical joint position and motor control testing and retraining. With the recent increase in concussion and closed head injury awareness, there has been an associated rise in the diagnosis of concussion and post-concussive syndrome. The tracker system provides physical therapists with an important tool in the evidence-based testing and treatment of these clients as well as those with mechanical neck pain and whiplash-associated disorders. Virtualis Virtual Reality Therapy Virtual Reality Therapy, VRT, uses specially programmed computers, visual immersion devices, and artificially created environments to give the patient a simulated experience that can be used to diagnose and treat psychological conditions that cause difficulties for patients. In many environmental phobias, reactions to perceived hazards, such as heights, walking in a crowded area, driving, standing in close spaces, moving elevators are usually triggered by visual and auditory stimuli. In VR-based therapies, the virtual world is a means of providing artificial, controlled stimuli in the context of treatment, and with a therapist able to monitor the patient's reaction. Unlike traditional cognitive behavioral therapy, VR-based treatment may involve adjusting the virtual environment, such as example adding the controlled speed of head movements or adding and adjusting the angle of motion, 
and allow the clinician to determine the triggers and triggering levels for each patient's reaction. Now, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.